The President, please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. The court is now back in session, and uh, we would like to now hand over to the co-prosecutor to, uh, to put questions to the witness. You may proceed. Qui pourra continuer à interroger le témoin. Le good afternoon again, Mr. President and your honors. Uh, good juges. afternoon, everyone. Bon I have a bon few more questions uh, for Mr. Ling Chung. Mr. Ling Chung, I have a few more questions, please, before I hand over to my colleague to Avant de céder la parole continue à putting questions. Confrère. You said uh, before we left off that you attended uh, a political pause, study session during the Khmer Rouge period. D'études politiques what durant la période kind de Khmer Rouge. Of topics, or subjects of the discussion in Quel the, the study session that you obtained, abordé. please? Response. Réponse. The education sessions uh, were not significant. Les sessions they were more or less uh, the session convened to disseminate some gros, information among des other groups. Visant à diffuser des Question. Thank you. Were you also Question. instructed on any other matters other than que this? Des instructions quelconques vous ont également été données Response. Sur d'autres choses. I don't remember. It was a long time Réponse. ago. Je ne m'en souviens pas. C'était il y a bien longtemps. Question. Question. During the Khmer Rouge regime, Durant you may have heard des Khmer Rouge, the expressions the Khmer Rouge uh, may have used. For example, the feudalists, the capitalists, comme par exemple, or the imperialists, de feudaux, de or the intellectuals, ou intellectuals, etc. Did you ever hear these words being said or used uh, during the period? Entendu ces mots à l'époque. Response. Réponse. I believe I have heard such uh, Je pense terms que used. Entendu ces mots. Question. Question. Can you tell the chamber the meanings uh, of uh, these terms used uh, by the Khmer Rouge to the people during that specific period of time? À Response. Réponse. I don't remember what would be the meanings of Je such me words being used. Question. I have some questions question. regarding the event after 1976. Indeed, Passons by the time, uh, for the time you approached uh, Phnom Penh and worked at K-12. When did you start uh, working at K-12? À quel moment avez-vous commencé à travailler à K12? Response. Réponse. I started working at uh, K12 in 1976, but I don't remember the exact month. Mais je ne me souviens pas du mois. Question. Thank you. What did you do at K12? Que faisiez-vous à K12? Response. Réponse. I was young and I was tasked uh, with cleaning the houses and the, du nettoyage the vicinity. Et des Question. Environs. Can you tell the chamber the purpose of K-12? According to your observation, what was K-12 meant to be? Or, or what, what actually was the objective of having K-12? Response. Réponse. I don't know, but I noted that uh, the pas. adults uh, would be tasked with uh, driving the vehicles. And I was young, so I would uh, be Moi, asked only to 
clean et donc, the houses. on me demandait seulement Question. de nettoyer les locaux. Regarding the young people and the adults, Question. mainly, what did they do? Quelles étaient les tâches principales des jeunes et des adultes, respectivement? Response. Réponse. Regarding the adults, uh, they drove les adultes cars conduisaient for others. des voitures pour d'autres. Question. Thank you. Question. Are you aware of the organizational structure of K-12 or are you able to tell the chamber if you know whether such structure organisé? exists? Connaissez-vous la structure de K-12? Response. I don't know. Je I was pense. too young to rien. know who would be the president of uh, the office and who would be the subordinates. Because as a young boy, I would only care for uh, the work uh, I was assigned et je to do. Uniquement du travail qui confié. Question. Do you know Question. Tamil and who is he? Connaissez-vous Tamil? Response. Si oui, qui yes, I do. I know him. Réponse. And he oui, was the, the head of the office. C'était le chef du bureau. Question. Question. Was he the head of K-12 office or other offices? Était-il chef de K-12 ou d'un autre bureau? Response. Tamil Réponse. was the head Tamil of K-12 office. Était le chef du bureau K-12. Question. Who was his deputy? Qui était son or adjoint? Did uh, K-12 have uh, a lot of deputy chiefs? Y avait-il beaucoup de chefs adjoints à K-12? Response. I don't Réponse. know whether K-12 had any si deputy chief or chiefs. Des chefs ou des chefs adjoints. Question. Do you know Question. Sarun and Jung, who Sarun were the cadres at that time. Qui étaient des cadres à l'époque. Response. Réponse. No, I don't know these non. people. Je ne connais pas ces gens. Question. Question. Thank you. Can you recollect what happened to Tamil? Qu'est-il arrivé à Tamil? Response. Réponse. I'm afraid I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. First, uh, I was too young at that time. Secondly, trop jeune I just à know nothing about this. Et deuxièmement, je ne sais rien à ce sujet. Question. Question. If you recollect the event that happened in 1978, Can you please tell the chamber who disappeared among the cadres uh, you worked close and um, parmi les cadres in, in particular in 1978 que vous côtoyez vous rappelez-vous qui a disparu en 78 Response I don't know réponse. anyone who disappeared je ne connais personne qui est disparu. Allô. Question. Question. Mr. Chung, and with Mr. Monsieur President Lee, Chung, I would like to read this statement to you. And I am referring to your document, uh, document, uh, document uh, the same document uh, déjà cité as already referred to by counsel for the accused. Par la défense. The president, uh, can you le président. indicate uh, the ERN -E numbers uh, to the parties, to the proceedings? And it would be also helpful for the record if you can read them out. 
co-prosecutor, Mr. President, Merci. thank you. This Monsieur document Président, is E3 stroke 385 in French. En français. 00702543 and in English in English 00360127 and in Khmer 00357210 in that document you say that uh, you were sent to K-12 office where you were tasked with cleaning the place. And you said you knew it was K-12 because other people who were your, uh, who told you about uh, the existence of the place and uh, that Tamil was uh, the head of the office who was removed or uh, taken away, away for execution in 1978 and you said you remained at K-12 and that uh, you also had to um, you know, call, uh, drive uh, the vehicle. Is that correct? Que vous deviez conduire des véhicules. Response. Uh, this yes, is exactly. the statement I uh, made. However, Tamil uh, was arrested uh, after I had already um, taken the driving task uh, for Mr. Kyusampon. That happened very, uh, at a later stage. I mean, when Tamir was uh, executed. Question regarding Tamir Mr. Sarun, can you recall whether question. you know or Vous still remember Monsieur what Sarun happened to him? Savez-vous ce qui lui est arrivé? Response: I don't remember Réponse. this person's name. Je ne me souviens pas du nom de cette question: personne. Do you know? Torn. Question. Connaissez-vous Torn? Response. I don't know. I don't non. remember. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question. Question. Thank you. What about another person by the name of Peer at uh, K12 as well? Du dénommé Peer, toujours à K12. Response. Réponse. I don't remember this person. Ce nom ne me dit rien. Question. Question. Do you know Sot? Connaissez-vous Sot? Response. Réponse. Yes, I do. Oui. Sot was the one who instructed Sot. me and uh, let me in me cleaning the place and after that he went uh, somewhere that I never know where he had uh, gone to. Question. Was uh, Mr. Sot a driver like you were? Monsieur Sot était un chauffeur comme vous? Response. Réponse. Yes, uh, he was uh, the driver, oui, but at that chauffeur. time, he also instructed me to Mais clean the vicinity, and uh, later on, he taught me how to drive the Par car, la suite, so I later on became conduire. the driver. So I was asked some question, and I perhaps I did not give my clear answer regarding the sequence of the event. Question. Did Mr. Sot continue question. to be the driver? Est-ce que Monsieur Sot est resté chauffeur? Response. Sot uh, continue to be driver. Oui. Question. Question. Who did he drive for? De qui était-il le chauffeur? Response. I think uh, he Réponse. drove Je pense the car for Mr. Nuanchia. Qu'il conduisait pour Nuanchia. Question. As the driver. Question. Were you offered other tasks as a bodyguard for plus the 
person you had uh, driven the car for? Or in other words, did you uh, hold these two functions at the same time, a driver and a bodyguard for the same person? Celle de chauffeur et de garde du corps d'une personne donnée. Response. To respond to your question, I may put it simply like this. A driver is a driver, a bodyguard is a bodyguard. These two people would never be the same persons. Question. Thank you. I would like uh, to move to the event of April 1978. I would like uh, to know about uh, your staying at uh, the K office and your work uh, driving the vehicle for Mr. You already stated that you drove for him, but my question to you is, did you continue to be his driver all the time consecutively, or did you at any point in time stop being the driver and resumed other tasks? Ou bien y a-t-il eu des interruptions au cours desquelles vous auriez effectué d'autres tâches? I continued uh, being the driver for Mr. Kilson all the way to 1979. Question. Question. Thank you. During the course of your work as the driver for Mr. Kilson Pond, did you engage in any conversation with him? And if so, what did he say to you and what do you remember about this? Response. We did not engage in any serious conversation, but he did only ask me, for example, he would tell me where he would be going and where he would want me to bring him back. That's all. Question. Thank you. During the course of your trip driving Mr. Kilsopon to different places, uh, did you also see him meeting Nguyen Chia or other Khmer Rouge leaders, if so, did you remember what they could have said to one another? Savez-vous de quoi il parlait? Response. As the driver, I do not know where he met. Uh, oh, rather, whom he met. Je ne but pas qui uh, il it is possible that uh, at times when, Ce for example, étant, after he met with some people, I would see the drivers tel, of tel those personne, people. So I could identify who he met uh, by way of uh, knowing who uh, the drivers uh, were chauffeur, driven for. Je pouvais en déduire Il avait rencontré tel, Question. Tel Thank you. When did you return Question. to K twelve office? Quand êtes-vous retourné au bureau? And K12? why did you come back? Et pourquoi? Response. Réponse. I'm afraid I don't understand your question. Je why pas la question. you ask me that I return to K-12? Vous dites que je suis rentré question. À Thank you for asking for clarification. Vous dire now, my question is, Merci after 1978, or April 1978, did you remain in K-12 or did you work elsewhere? Allé travailler ailleurs? Response. Réponse. I think uh, perhaps I need to go back a little bit. Uh, by 1976, uh, I moved to the technical school, the Khmer Soviet Technical School. After that, I went to K-12 office, the child uh, mobile or child unit. Uh, and after I could drive the car, ensuite, then I was asked to go to K-3. So these events uh, happened uh, separately. So after about 
April 1978 or something, Après if I remember avril correctly, 78, I left K12, j'ai quitté K12. And uh, then I still continue uh, driving for Mr. Pearson until the date uh, when we climbed uh, the mountain on the run and then we departed or we parted our montagne. ways in là, uh, 1979. Question. Thank you. Question. At uh, K12, after Tamil K12, was uh, removed, Après le limogeage de Tamil, what was your observation regarding the situation at K12 office at that time? À K12. Response. I did not know Tamil was arrested uh, because I arrêté. already left uh, for K3 effet, uh, where I stayed uh, with Mr. Kyusom Pon and I worked for him. I only Pond heard about this event at lui. a later date Ces and I heard from other people. Question. Thank you. Tard. When Mr. Kyusom Pon was Question. absent, in other words, when he was not in the country, what did you do? And with whom did you work? I am saying Avec qui about uh, Mr. Kilsom Pond being away from Cambodia. Indeed, uh, it is practically that you would not be able to drive for him because he was not there. Quand so during this time when he was not inside the country, where did you work? And what did you do? Dès lors, que faisiez-vous en son absence? Response. From the time I stayed with him, Réponse. I don't remember having seen him going somewhere outside of the country until 1979. But perhaps uh, this may be wrong, or, or rather the situation may change after 1979. Before that, uh, he never left uh, the country. And I would be uh, there quitté. if I did not drive. I would be asked uh, to plant some morning glory. Question. When international Question. delegations um, visiting the democratic Cambodia regime, did uh, you often take him to receive Vous avez-t-il souvent de l'emmener accueillir not. ces délégations? Or if you did not drive him to receive them, did other people drive him there? Si pas, est-ce que d'autres le conduisaient pour accueillir ces délégations? The president, ces délégations? Uh, witness, please hold on, counsel for Mr. Kusumpon. You may proceed. La défense de Counsel Kusumpon. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. Merci, I believe président. that uh, the question lastly put uh, by the co-prosecutor is rather repetitive Cette because the witness said répétitive. already that he was the only driver le for Mr. Kyusom Pond. No other drivers uh, would drive for him. Co-prosecutor, Mr. President, le co I was asking this question because uh, during the democratic si Cambodia regime, other delegations would be coming to visit il y avait the des country, and that Mr. Kirsten could have met uh, these people. So it may be possible that uh, at times uh, uh, his driver would be absent or would not be able to drive him, and that other drivers would be absent uh, asked to drive him. Drive him. The President, uh, the objection is not sustained. Uh, the witness is now directed to respond. Le témoin doit répondre à la question. Response. Le témoin. After working at, oh, after I moved to K3, I do not know Après whether other people K3, would be his drivers. Je ne sais pas That's si not to my knowledge. Chauffeurs. So. From, uh, from April 1978 onwards, uh, he did not receive any foreign visitors. Visiteur and uh, before that, uh, he could have uh, received uh, some senior delegations delegation because I heard uh, this information 
broadcast on radios, uh, but during my time working as his driver, I never uh, remember uh, him, uh, seeing him receive any other senior within, uh, visiting guests. Question. Thank you. I move to the, na an, the next question. Do you know one weight? Response. Yes, I do. I saw him. Oui. Je l'ai vu. One weight is one weight. Indeed, that's the same person I believe I know. Je Question. Ce Vett. What did he do? Question. Or can you remember what his functions were and where did travail? he live? Quelles étaient ses fonctions? Response. I don't know where he Réponse. lived, but Von Wade uh, was a popular name. Uh, he was the deputy prime minister in charge of commerce. And we heard uh, this uh, on radio broadcast. Radio. Question. Question. What happened after what happened to Von Wade? Or, in other words, can you tell the chamber what happened to Von Wait? And uh, what um, what did other cadres uh, do to him to make him end up like that? A Response, I Dans don't mesure, know anything about the work of the cadres at that time. I was a very young boy. I think I, I would remember si this in detail if I was older than je I was at that time. Si plus âgé à Question, thank you. Did you ever meet uh, with Pol Pot? Tamok, Tamok, Tamok or Son Sen? Son Sen. If so, did these three people si oui, ever come to K13? Sont-elles jamais venues à K13? Uh, Co-prosecutor, I may wish to correct this. It's a uh, K3, not K13. Did they erreur, ever come K3 to K3 K3? If so, did Ces they come to this venus office K3? more often? Et si oui, à quelle fréquence Response. I think But I rarely see them. Réponse. Or I rarely saw them. And uh, I never saw Son Sainz or uh, We Are Call. But uh, one bit uh, would come to the office uh, once in a while. Quelle Paul Pot que Banto m'a dit How about Paul Pot? Did Paul Pot ever visit the place Paul Pot est-il jamais venu à cet endroit Paul Pot. Réponse. Response. No, I, I never, I never saw him. Non, je n'ai jamais vu Paul Pot. Uh, ah, but I saw his car. Mais j'ai vu sa voiture. Over there. Thank you. Question. À cet endroit. Since I do not Question. have uh, more time to put uh, you more questions on this issue, I would like to, you know, now put only three more questions for you. Autant de questions que je le souhaiterais. Je When you were leaving. In, in the democratic Cambodia period, vous viviez do you recall any words of the Khmer Rouge, whether you when vous? you were driving the car or you were living somewhere, did you recall what the Khmer Rouge leader uh, tell the people in, in general? In Les other words, uh, do you quand vous, quand recall the Khmer Rouge leader talk anything about, for example, the policy of the Khmer Rouge in general. Response. I am afraid I do not recall anything specific. At that time, I was very young. Thank you. Question. Can you enlighten the court further? This morning, you told the court oui, that Mr. Kyu Sampon uh, is a respectable Monsieur person. He was a gentle, honest, and kind-hearted person. Doux, what bon et are the basis uh, for uh, your 
judgment that Mr. Kyu Sampon was um, of the character you described this morning. Que Monsieur Kyu Sampon avait les qualités que vous avez évoquées ce matin. Response. Réponse. As I said, I find him respectable for dis, myself as far as I am concerned and based on my experience concerne, working with him, he was a uh, gentle and kind-hearted person. Bon, so I respect, I, I respect him and I can only speak for myself that I respect le respecter, him. Donc je parle en mon nom ici, home, que du Question. When you were Question. in the um, Democratic Cambodia period, uh, you stayed uh, with Cambodia him, Democratic. and you also came across this re regime uh, the entire period of the uh, Democratic Cambodia uh, by yourself. So according to your uh, personal experience, uh, what was the hardship that you witnessed um, nous dire and people Cambodia, uh, the Cambodian people have to endure at that time? Can you please uh, enlighten the court what you heard, what you witnessed uh, uh, of the hardship that people had to go through? Uh, please uh, tell population. the court what you uh, witnessed uh, by, by yourself during that period. The President, witness, please hold on. The National Council for Mr. Kilsenpon is on his feet. You may proceed, Council. Council Kilsenpon, thank you, Mr. President. I would like to object uh, to this question because this question invites the witness uh, to summarize uh, his uh, statement and the prosecutor even made mention uh, that this uh, particular witness was a a uh, main actor, a person who witnessed firsthand uh, the uh, account or the event uh, during the Democratic Cambodia. Uh, this uh, suggests the assumption on the part of the uh, prosecutor that this witness understood everything, every event of the regime. So I would like uh, Mr. President to direct the prosecutor to put a more precise question if this witness is to answer any question of this nature. Mr. Prosecutor. Mr. President, uh, may I um, try to clarify this? I, I say that this particular witness is a main actor simply because he was the one uh, who uh, stayed with Mr. Kilsom Pon, and he is now being the witness of the uh, chamber who is testifying before the court. If he is not an important witness, uh, he uh, must not have been uh, summoned to this court. So once again, when I say he is an important person uh, to testify here, I am not saying that he is an important person who played an important role during the Democratic Cambodia period. Uh, he is important in our contact now because he was the one who witnessed uh, the activity, uh, the situation that uh, happened uh, around where he worked. Uh, so he can uh, enlighten the court to uh, the extent uh, that he knew and what he witnessed. Particularly, uh, he was a driver for Mr. Kilsom Pond. So he is in the, a better position than anybody else uh, to tell the uh, character of Mr. Kilsom Pond and other leaders whom uh, he came to know. And when I say that he knew the event during the Democratic Cambodia, I am not making an assumption that he knew everything from the regime. I know that there is a limitation to someone's knowledge of an event, and the person only, this person only knew what happened at the place where he worked, where he lived, and the context where uh, he was operating at the time. So he only knew what he had experienced, what he came across in life. So he can enlighten the court to this effect in order to uh, assist the court in ascertaining the truth. And for this reason, I would like to ask Mr. President to allow this uh, witness to respond to my question. The President. The President. Witness, you may respond uh, to the question, but um, you may respond to only the first half of the question. As for the second half of the question, um, this elicits the uh, assumption on the part of the witness because he would not uh, be able to enlighten on the court as to how the Cambodian people in general perceive the situation. He is not here 
as an expert, uh, so he may not be able to opine on this issue. General, il ne s'agit pas d'un expert et donc ne peut nous donner une opinion utile. The President, Mr. Prosecutor, uh, you should need uh, to put the last question to the witness, and you should refrain from using main actor or principal actor. You can only refer to this witness as witness, and make sure that the question uh, should not elicit the assumption on the part of the witness, because even if uh, you ask uh, the a uh, witness to observe something uh, or express his observation on something, this is actually an elicitation of the uh, witness uh, opinion. Dont il a été, ce, ce and il a you observé, are vous asking à this witness to uh, opine on the view of Cambodian people Et during the democratic Cambodia period. Mr. Witness, can you please enlighten the court on your general observation of what you witnessed, what you heard, the event uh, that you came to know? Did you witness the uh, difficulty, the hardship uh, for yourself as well as uh, the people around your area during the democratic Cambodia period? Avez-vous éprouvé des difficultés et en avez-vous constaté chez les gens autour de vous well, Réponse. Uh, I think I can answer to this uh, question, Je but if you ask me, and as you suggested in your uh, last question to me, uh, I uh, could not uh, elaborate because I was very young uh, at that time. But si as for uh, me, uh, my observation question, at that time, I was very young. There was no moi, uh, oppression, there was jeune, no uh, force. Uh, I, the, nobody forced me to work. I live uh, uh, ordinary life at that time. There was nothing uh, difficult. Prosecutor, I have no further questions, uh, Mr. Witness, and I thank you very much uh, for answering my question. I am sure that your testimony will contribute to ascertaining the truth. And with your leave, Mr. President, I would like to cede the floor to my uh, international colleague. Merci, bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. Good afternoon. Bonjour à toutes les parties. Bonjour à vous, Monsieur le Témoin. J'aurai des questions à vous poser probablement jusqu'à après la pause de cet après-midi. Ça dépendra bien sûr de la concision et la précision de vos réponses. Obviously, the time this takes will depend on Donc, je m'appelle Vincent Duil, déjà je représente le bureau des coprocureurs également. My name Alors, is Vincent Wheelett, and uh, I represent the prosecutor's office as well. My first question Ban is, have you already seen avant, Pierre Saint-Pan uh, before the time when you went to K3? Before the time when you went to K3, for example, did you see Pierre Saint-Pan in K12? No, I, I never saw him before that. Non, je ne l'avais pas vu avant cela. Très bien. Je vais revenir très euh, rapidement sur ce Thank qui s'est passé à K12. Vous avez parlé tout à l'heure de Ta 1000. I'll come back quickly to K12. Et je voudrais soumettre à Monsieur le Témoin un document. C'est le document E3 858 qui porte aussi la cote IS 18.56. Donc E3, 858. C'est un document euh, qui comporte une liste du personnel de K12 et que je voudrais soumettre à M. le témoin pour voir s'il si peut identifier certaines personnes. Uh, Avec votre autorisation, M. le Président, je demande également de pouvoir projeter à l'écran la page en Khmer numéro 6. À l'IRN 000-21-158. En français, c'est la page 11 du document. À 
Et en anglais, la page 9 de ce même document, IRN 0039 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 -17 The President, Mr. Prosecutor, please uh, identify the uh, document number uh, again uh, because uh, it did not come through the interpretation. Oui, la cote du document, the document code is E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858-E3-858
Alors, monsieur le témoin, c'est le nom qui est surligné en jaune sur votre document, sur la première page. Il est écrit San Sreun, alias Mil, chef du bureau des chauffeurs K12, et plus loin, date d'arrestation 8 mai 1978. Lorsque tout à l'heure vous avez identifié monsieur Mil sur l'autre document, s'agit-il ici également du nom que vous reconnaissez comme étant le chef de K12 sous lequel vous avez travaillé. That meal was the chairman of K-12. But if you refer to the months that the meal was arrested, it was a, a bit uh, different because uh, I had already left uh, K-12 uh, and he was arrested uh, later on, so I did not know anything about the arrest. Très bien. Il y a un élément sur lequel je voudrais insister là-dessus. C'est que sur les deux documents que je vous ai montrés, le nom de Mill apparaît sous le titre ministère ou bien bureau S71. Est-ce que vous aviez entendu parler de ce bureau S71 à l'époque où vous travailliez à K12 puis ensuite à K3 I did not know about uh, Office S21, uh, but I knew that uh, Mill was the uh, chairman of K12. I did not know whether or not he assumed any other position elsewhere. Merci. Thank you. J'ai entendu dans la traduction française de l'interprétation. Euh, parler de S21, je parlais de S71, S71. S71. Est-ce que uh, votre réponse concerne bien S21, le bureau S71 et non pas le bureau S21 S71 and not S21. Vous pourriez la répéter rapidement. Could you a man Je by the name of Mill. I knew that he was a chairman of uh, K-12, and I did not know whether or not he assumed any position at S-71. Merci. Tout à l'heure, la défense de Kyusampan a cité un procès verbal, celui de M. Ta Sot. C'est le procès verbal E3 par 464 par 4, 6, 4. Et je voudrais simplement citer un passage sans nécessairement vous montrer le procès verbal en entier. Ce passage se situe en anglais à la page 5, en français à la page 5, également, et en khmer à la page 5 ou 6. Et c'est un commentaire que Tassot fait à propos de Pan et des bureaux K. Je cite, Pang était le responsable de tous les bureaux K, tels que K1, K2, K3, K4, K7, K12. Et un peu plus loin, je cite, Pang recevait les ordres généraux de toutes les personnes haut placées, tels que Pol Pot, Yang Sari, Kyusampan, Nunchiyah, en fonction des spécialités de chacune des hauts dirigeants, entre parenthèses, les objectifs des tâches, de chacun des hauts dirigeants, pardon. Et un peu plus loin encore, Pang allait voir Kyusampan à K3 et Kyusampan allait aussi voir Pang à K7. Fin de Pourriez-vous nous dire, monsieur, si vous avez jamais amené Kyusampan à K7 lorsque vous travaillez pour lui
I think I never took him to that place, uh, but I might have uh, missed it out. I did not know uh, about uh, Pong, who was uh, in the uh, supervisory role of these uh, offices. I did not know. It was only now that you mentioned it. I learned about it. Je ne savais pas avant. En fait, je viens de l'apprendre quand vous m'avez dit. Est-ce que vous auriez vu, par contre, Pang venir au bureau K3 Dans la mesure où vous, vous en êtes euh, évidemment informé, ou vous, vous l'auriez vu, ou vous auriez vu son véhicule. If you had information about that, or if you saw his car. No, I never saw he, him uh, come to K3, or well, I might have forgotten, I, I cannot recall, but to non, my um, recollection, he uh, never, never uh, saw him at K3. Il and uh, concerning the question, ask me whether or not I saw Pong uh, come to K3, I said I never saw him. D'accord. Je voudrais lire maintenant un passage de votre procès verbal d'interrogatoire like devant les enquêteurs des juges d'instruction. Uh, C'est le document E3, bar 385. E3, C'est à la page 7, page dans seven, chacune des trois langues. Et si je ne me trompe pas, Monsieur le Président, je ne crois pas que le témoin ait reçu une copie de la version Khmer de ce document lorsque la défense l'a interrogé. Donc je me propose, pour faciliter les choses, de pouvoir lui remettre si vous n'avez pas d'inconvénient. The document is actually on his desk. Uh, duty counsel, can you assist him then? Son avocat pour l'aider. Très bien. Alors je vais simplement citer. All right. Let me uh, simply quote. La page 7. On page 7. C'est à peu près au milieu de la page en français. Je cite. J'ai commencé French. à avoir peur à partir du moment où j'ai entendu parler de l'arrestation de Ta Mille et Pang, du remplacement des gens et des disparitions successives. À part Mille et Pang, de quel remplacement parlez-vous ici ou de quelle disparition est-ce que vous avez, vous avez été informé que d'autres cadres du régime disparaissaient ou étaient arrêtés lorsque vous étiez à K3 After hearing uh, that, I actually... Uh, who went to work uh, with Mr. Kilsom Pond. I myself was uh, uh, rather afraid myself, but I was um, very young at that time. I did not know what to do after all. But as, as you read out in uh, the statement concerning mistreatment uh, against me, I never uh, received any treatment, and I heard about uh, arrest of these people and that people. I was uh, rather scared for myself, but uh, that I had nothing. I, I could do nothing about it because I was very young. Merci. Je vais maintenant vous poser quelques questions. <coughs> qui Thank sont you. relatives à des sujets que nous avons déjà abordés like dans cette chambre avec l'épouse de M. Q. Sampa. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire, M. le témoin, si à K3 Mr. vous Mr. aviez Wait, assez à manger if in K3 you had
case three, I was uh, near the kitchen. I had enough to eat. Uh, we did not have plentiful food uh, to eat, but just, uh, just enough uh, to eat uh, every day. Donc vous aviez assez de riz, par exemple. So, for example, you did have enough rice. But I. Yes, I did oui. enough. But I did not have uh, uh, different dishes. Uh, I had uh, only one dish, uh, one one kind of uh, food. Uh, I added uh, to my content and way. Et qu'en était-il des dirigeants Avez-vous su s'ils recevaient they... le même type d'aliments que vous-même puisque les Received cuisines étaient séparées vous aviez as yourself, because, as you told us, the kitchens were separated. I never was uh, near to that kitchen. I was far from it. And I don't know his affairs. Très bien. Vous avez confirmé tout à l'heure qu'en arrivant à 4-3, Just... vous y avez vu Nunchia, Nengsari, Kusampan, qui habitait dans des maisons. Euh, différentes et qui résidaient sur place. Saw the leaders who resided in different Madame Sosuchit, qui est venue ici le 12 Kusampan. juin 2013, femme de Kusampan, a dit à 9h33 et 18 secondes, c'est euh, une question qui lui était posée. Madame Sosuchit, les hauts dirigeants sont-ils partis de 4-3 en 1976 et vous y ont laissé, vous et votre mari, à 4-3 Réponse, Madame Sosuchit, oui. Fin de citation. Donc je, je résume. Euh, L'épouse de Kusampan a dit. En 1976, il n'y avait plus que Kusampan et quelques autres personnes, mais pas d'autres leaders à 4-3. Vous avez dit dans vos déclarations devant les juges d'instruction et ici à l'audience que quand vous êtes arrivé en 1978, Nunchia et Yang Sari avaient encore une maison à 4-3. Est-ce que vous confirmez avoir vu Nunchia et Yang Sari sur place, dans leur maison Response. They had uh, different homes. Uh, I cannot fully confirm that they would only stay in one place for a long period of time. But uh, they did have a house at K3. I just don't know whether they spent um, or they slept there every night. Merci. Um, Thank you. Vous avez dit tout à l'heure que ce qui était le garde du corps de Kusampan, quand vous étiez son chauffeur, accompagnait Kusampan partout. Euh, Madame Sosuchit, à l'audience du 10 juin, dans le projet de transcription à 15h39, a dit au contraire, quand il quittait K3, est-ce qu'il était accompagné de garde du corps Sa réponse était non. Je voudrais maintenant lire euh, un passage encore plus complet de votre procès verbal. E3 bar 3, 8, 5, c'est à la page 4 dans chacune des trois langues. Et vous avez dit ceci. Il y avait un certain Hun qui a conduit pour Kyu Sampan. Plus tard, on l'a envoyé conduire pour Yeng Sari plus tôt. Et puis un peu plus loin, je connais Thorn, le garde du corps de Kyu Sampan, bien sûr. Plus tard, on a muté le nommé Sun et on l'a envoyé remplacer Thorn. T -O -R -N. Alors, à partir du mois d'avril 78, Kusan Pan avait moi-même comme chauffeur et Sun qui était son garde du corps. 
Donc, tout d'abord, est-ce que vous confirmez que Sun accompagnait Kusampan partout ou avant que Sun prenne ses fonctions, qu'un autre garde du corps accompagnait Kusampan dans ses déplacements Response. There was only one person by the name, the name of Sun who Il y avait was person, his bodyguard. Sun, I qui think uh, Thorn rings the bell Je pense because que le nom de Thorn later on me dit quelque chose. different people would be Par la placed suite, uh, to replace the other who left uh, des gens and once in a while I would uh, meet qui him. Parti. I think uh, et de he temps en temps, disappeared. Je le That's why his name did not ring the bell, but you already refreshed my memory and I now recollect this name. Présent, je me rappelle ce nom. Oui, je vais probablement vous rafraîchir encore un peu plus la mémoire de yes, ce témoin. Yes, probably have to refresh your memory. memory. Au document que je vous ai remis tout à l'heure, c'est le document E3 bar 858. C'est une liste du personnel des bureaux K, sans doute établi à S21 en 1978. Et je voudrais m'en référer à la, pa à la première page en Khmer de ce document que vous avez, à la page 2 en français et à la page 2 en anglais, sous le titre Bureau K3. Il est écrit ceci, en fin de page, pour ce qui concerne le français. Premièrement, Thorn est un garde du corps de Bang Hem, il est venu de... Pum Tmai, Chaisen, région 103. Deuxième nom, Hun est un garde du corps de Bang Hem. Il est venu de la région 103. Et troisièmement, Sun est un garde du corps de Bang Hem. Il est venu de la zone nord-est. Il fait partie de la minorité ethnique Chok. Fin de citation. Est-ce qu'il s'agit bien des mêmes Sun et Thorn, um, et peut-être vous rappelez-vous maintenant de ce Hun également, dont vous avez parlé devant les juges d'instruction. Est-ce qu'il s'agit bien de ces personnes-là dont vous avez parlé aux enquêteurs I uh, am referring to oui. Thorn, although I did Thorn. not uh, work uh, at that place when Thorn was Même there. Si je travaillais pas quand Thorn y était. But I, I, I just learned that Thorn was working at that place. And appris also there was another person, Thorn, who was a, a driver. Et est-ce que le Sun qui figure en troisième position dans l'extrait que j'ai lu est bien le garde du corps avec lequel vous avez travaillé pendant que vous étiez chauffeur, il était garde du corps de Kyo Sampan Est-ce que c'est bien juste alors avant peut-être l'interruption, Monsieur le Président, Now, si je peux, au-dessus euh, de ce même document, document sous le titre Bureau K3, il y a quatre noms. K3, we have four il y a le nom de Tung, il est dit qu'il est garde du corps, tome numéro 2. Je vous passe les détails d'origine. Il y avait Sot, garde du corps, de homme numéro 2. Dan, garde du corps du homme numéro 2, et Ron ou Ran, R-O-R-N, garde du corps d'homme numéro 2. Que pouvez-vous nous dire de, de ces personnes Vous avez déjà parlé de Sot. Est-ce que vous avez rencontré Tung, Dan et Ran durant la période où vous avez travaillé pour Q-Sampan 
Ils étaient bien garde du corps du frère numéro 2. He was also bodyguard of brother number two. I don't remember them all of those who were in the name of 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 I can't remember the, the clear picture of this. Indeed, uh, uh, you try to refresh uh, my memory and it helps, but I don't think I remember them all. Peut-être une toute dernière question alors à, concernant le bureau K1. Je vous demande de tourner. Euh, de vous référer à ce qui est écrit en dessous du bureau K1 sur ce même document, à la toute première page. Il y a deux, deux noms, les deux premiers qui apparaissent, Bang Lin, est le responsable général des bureaux K1 et K4, et on dit que sa femme Sem est venue du secteur de la zone nord. Of the North Zone. Et deuxièmement, Bang Tan, Ban on dit qu'il était chef du bureau K1, qu'il était venu de la zone nord-est. Est-ce que vous avez entendu ces noms-là lorsque vous travaillez pour Kyo Sampan au bureau K3 Donc ce sont deux personnes qui travaillaient au bureau K1. Yes, I um, am familiar with these two people. Je connais effectivement oh, ces deux personnes. The president, uh, thank you, Mr. Co-prosecutor, and thank you, Mr. Witness. It is now appropriate time already for adjournment. The chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 3 o'clock. Court officer is now directed to assist the witness and his jury counsel during the adjournment and have them return to the courtroom by their time. Suspension de l'audience.